Above and beyond roses are named and sold as a climbing rose. They are not a climbing rose. They are actually a rambler rose. There are two main differences between climbers and ramblers. Climbers are shorter, easily contained, and need specific pruning. They are repeat bloomers, which means they bloom throughout the growing season. Ramblers, on the other hand, grow twice as tall as a climber and can overwhelm a small space in a short time. Climbers bloom only once a year, usually around June. This video is for people who live in the mountains of New Mexico and have an above and beyond rose that is two, year, two years old going into its third winter. It is sold as a winter hardy rose and I have never lost a cane, but your spot might not be as good as mine. Pruning roses is a daunting task for new and old gardeners alike. To make it easier on yourself, no matter which category you're in, always keep your plant tags. Research is easier if you know what kind of rose you have. If I had known above and beyond was a rambler, I would not have squashed each plant into a five by six foot living space. It's almost a crime. I should have placed each plant in an area 10 by 10 feet with a width spread of four feet. It is a massive plant when given the water it needs for optimum growth, which means every month of the year in the mountains of New Mexico. Luckily, rambler roses can be pruned at any time. Even if you whacked it down to the ground every spring, it would come back up and bloom because it is not a grafted rose. I prune my above and beyond rose in late fall after several freezes in November. You can prune it in late February or early March if that fits your schedule better. It's easier to see the canes at that time as well. I also prune it throughout the growing season whenever it gets out of bounds. I cut the canes at ground level. I also prune the flowers off after it blooms in June because the hips are not attractive. This plant will eat you alive and it hurts to prune it. That's another reason you should give it space. It only really needs to have the very oldest canes cut out each year and the rest can stay. I, on the other hand, cut out any canes that don't fit a fan shape against the fence. I leave no more than seven and it fills out with new growth by June and makes a lovely show. You can't hurt this plant by pruning. Its best feature is its forgiveness.